Good morning! So we're about to do a workout with Bradley for 20 minutes, 80s right? And I'm watching Peyton at the same time. My situation with the TV is still happening. I will fix it. We will get a credenza or uh, whatever it's called soon, a dresser or something, but we haven't got around to it, but yes. So today is Friday, super excited about it. I look crazy right now, so probably not gonna see me till after I shower, but just wanted to say good morning. Let's get started with Bradley here. And yeah. Super it's excited. My name's Bradley Rhodes and I've got you a we'll see you in a bit. Right. Down the hitch. Okay, so it's not that easy. <laughs> so what you want to Look do at is lock in 40 to 50 on resistance. Okay, it's, it's a little bit harder than I thought. So when you come up, you attack the push with your pace. First day of the song. Like you know, comfy, you need today. Yeah. I'm done. My legs are shaking, but we're done. Definitely do love Costco's very, very much. I really think that it's so worth it. If you buy the executive member, I'm sure you guys are executive members, but just to let you know, you know, it really pays for itself because I just got a check for like $141 for, you know, from Costco's, but it actually pays for my membership you know what i mean for being an executive member in which you get like the deals you know automatically get the deals and stuff but you get it like you get your membership for free pretty much you know because i don't know how much it is but i think it covers i think you have like 20 dollars left because i think it's 70 a person for the executive i'm not sure so it's me and my husband so yeah but that's what I have going on so far. Oh, really quick. So I was like um, a little upset because yesterday I got home and then I saw like, I don't know. You guys are probably, I don't even know who I'm talking about or like tired of me talking about this. But I watched this, I watched like channels and then I watched the reaction to those channels. But I love those channels. I know it's a little like, they throw a little bit of shade to the channels that I watch, but it's, it's good and I think they're like giving each other traffic back and forth so it's a win-win in my eyes you know I don't know I know a lot of people don't like reaction channels but I love this girl I really didn't never watch reaction channels but she's hilarious so I always talk about her because I've been watching her and it's like a little treat that I go look forward to you know so yesterday I'm like I saw that she was gonna post so I was like okay notify me whatever I don't get why I don't get a lot of um, notifications even though I have my notifications on even like with the channels the other channels that I watch I never get notifications so I was a little upset because I'm like okay while I do this I could be watching it or well you know what I'm saying I'll listen to it while I'm at because I like to be there live even though I don't really like um, participate because it's First of all, the people that participate are like hilarious and I'm nowhere near that. So I just really like to watch and stuff like that. But um, I want to feel like I'm live at a live show and I always miss it because I don't get the notifications. And even though I should look for it, I forget because I'm like, okay, I'll get notified. I'll start doing other things. And I'm like, wait, it's seven. And then she already started or already finishing. So where I live in Texas, but we're the only, I don't know if this has anything to do with it, which I'm thinking, but then other channels, I don't get their notifications either. But it's like, if I, we're the only city in Texas that are mountain time, everybody else is central time, I think. So we're an hour ahead behind the rest of texas which is crazy because we're in texas you know what i mean because i don't know why so yeah we're mountain time the rest of texas is central time i think it's central time i'm not sure but they're an hour be ahead of us so yeah so maybe that's what has to do with it but anyways i'm gonna watch the replay right now right now i'm watching gina janine and I'm about to watch uh, my live or listen to my life while I make dinner and stuff like that. But I'll show you guys how the pasta came out. 
but just wanted to say hi and you know i just really like to film i'm not a big channel or anything but it really makes me feel good filming and stuff like that because i don't know i feel like i'm talking to somebody i don't have very many friends at all like i know people are like okay i'm back i forgot this pub mix oh my god it is so good it is probably not the healthiest i say probably because i know it's not the healthiest but it is so good like you need to have, i was like i would always get it because believe it or not this does not last in my house especially like i do give my mom half of it because she drinks beers like on her friday nights when she's watching her novelas she'll drink beer and then she loves these so i give her half and like we were like oh my god like they have it again because we didn't find it or they might have moved it like i said but yes definitely try these they have like the best flavor ever you know they're not cheesy but they're not not cheesy i don't know they're really good definitely get these so and they last forever because it's i only bought one because i was like should I buy more because I didn't find them, you know, but then, you know, they're going to be there for, I mean, we eat them fast, but we're not going to eat them like in a month. You know, this is a lot of them. I only have a little bit just to crunch my cravings every once in a while, especially if you have like a glass of wine or some, um, what's it called? A little beer that will taste good. I'm a beer drinker. Um, I mean, I'll drink wine every once in a while, but I'm really a beer drinker because I don't like sweet stuff. Um, sorry, my pantry's open. It's a mess in here. Okay. Sorry, my pantry was open. It's a mess in there. My daughter has to clean it, but I'm like, I like beer. I like wine. Um, so once in a while, like, you know, I'm like, okay, I want to relax. But if my preference of drink is beer, which is horrible, I like the most horrible things. I just don't like nothing sweet. Like once in a while, I'll drink a margarita, but that one's still too, it has to be beer. And I don't know why I know people hate beer or, you know, but I just love it. And um, so, yeah, that's like my preference of drinking which is horrible that's why i need to stop drinking because it's not good you know what i mean like beer is so bad for you but yeah like every you know i'm trying not to drink too much but every time that i do drink i do have one of these and even if i don't drink like if i'm craving something like you know like a little snack i definitely put this in the little snack sites um what's it called um ziploc bag and then i'll just like munch on it because another thing i was addicted to is sunflower seeds but like the takis one i don't even like takis and i'm like so addicted to them we went to um california and i know i was gonna drink so i was having my beers and i'm like can you find me some takis sun <laughs> sunflower seeds i had my poor husband and my poor now that i think about it i'm sorry guys and my poor husband and my poor daughter going everywhere looking for stupid taki he would think i would like i was like pregnant uh sunflower seeds and he did it until he found it i'm like oh I'm gonna be nice for now on. I'm not gonna make him look for stuff for me anymore. <laughs> but it was so good and it was so worth it. And um, yeah, so I'm addicted to everything salty and it's not good. So probably don't buy those, but they're good, like really good. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. But this is the pasta I'm gonna make. This is the Ditalini pasta that she made it with. I just can't find the, the Instagram thing and I don't, I'm not a big instagram person so i don't really look know how to find it or i don't i never saved it because i don't know how to save it i just like always just look on that page but it wasn't even on that page i think i had it from another page but because it said mediterranean on it i thought it was that page so i'm gonna make my own i'm gonna like you know kind of see how it comes out so i don't know if i want to show you guys because like it's mine and you're like oh that's gross or to show you guys and if it's good then you know you could try it out but pasta is pasta it's just vegetables pasta and a dressing you know mixed together so all right just wanted to share that with you we'll be back all right guys i'm back so this is my ditalini pasta it's already ready i already put salt and pepper and then i could not find the recipe for the life of me i don't understand but so it's I just cut up, I do remember the veggies that was on it. I just cut up, but you could add, of course, your own veggies. Some cucumber, 
tomato, I love tomato. Tomato, uh, I put in this color of bell pepper, the yellow one, just to give it a little bit of color. I did cut up some chives and I added a little bit of um, carrots. So we're just gonna add that and then we're just gonna make our own little dressing, which will be olive oil, <clears throat> uh, balsamic, red wine and a little bit of ground i mean ground mustard i meant dijon mustard with salt and pepper and that makes such a good dressing i got that from one of the other other um pasta salad um what's it called recipes and i always use that same dressing because it is so good so this is what it looks like it just needs the dressing which i'll show you guys how i make it right now i'm just like you know so I think it's fun. I might add some spinach on it. I don't know. I'm just like really wanting to see some color in it. Another thing, I did buy these at Costco's yesterday. I gotta make them because my, I, I don't, I wanted to make them on Friday. I don't understand why I thought I could buy them a week before. Today's Friday. I want to make them next Friday. Like I don't understand my thinking sometimes, but I'm going to try to make some ceviche. I love ceviche. I could eat ceviche every single day if I could. So I think I'm just gonna make them as ceviche and eat that. It's ceviche is so easy. But yeah, so this is what my pasta looks like. I'll show you my tacos when they're ready. And that's about it. I just gotta figure out what else to make on the side. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, but you will see the end result. But all right, so I'm gonna use this much, it's like a half of a cup of um, just olive oil. I just use this one, this is the Kirkland's one. It's so much cheaper than like buying it at like the grocery store. So I buy that and it lasts me forever. And I love, 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 I don't know why I'm shaking this, but I really love this olive oil. I remember the price though but this is the red wine vinegar that i use and it is really good so i'm just gonna add like two tablespoons i eyeball everything i'm so sorry i hate that about myself once i buy the little tablespoons and stuff i'll start measuring with my little recipes this is really not even to show you my recipe just to give you ideas like what do I make today? And like, oh, you know, let's make pasta. And then you make your own pasta. You know, of course, I would love, you know, if you try my recipes. But it's just to give you ideas, you know, because sometimes it's hard to think about what to make, especially with kids, you know. I'm just going to mix it with this. Pardon me. I have all my stuff washing, cleaning right now. So just mix it up. Add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. I need to transfer my salt and I cannot find my Himalayan salt thing. I bought another one and I can't find it. So I just mix it up really, really good. And this is the best little dressing ever. I do add red uh, wine vinegar as well, but I ran out. So we're not gonna do that. Sometimes I add red paper flakes as well, but um since my little ones are gonna eat them they're little sometimes they're in the mood for spicy and sometimes they're not so this is the pasta like i said i just might add some spinach in a little bit i'm being very rough with this i'm sorry and this is it this is the pasta it's so good and yummy and just you know quick little uh easy idea so I'm gonna go put that in the, cover that up and put it in the fridge. And I'm gonna start my ceviche because I really gotta cook, make that, not cook it, but make it today. <laughs> maybe a cocktail, maybe a ceviche, I don't know. I'm still debating because I was really wasn't gonna make up today, but I have to. But if I make all of these, these this is a lot of shrimp. It's 1.58 pounds for $14 and it's ready to go at Costco's. So I might make it, make it all and then give some to my mom. 
So I'm going to it to my mom. And then, because that meat is a lot of meat too. I forgot to cut it up and then boil it. So I'm going to have to give my mom some meat too. So she can make her own tacos over there. Because I, I don't want it to go to waste. You know what I mean? And it's a lot. Like I'll have enough for a couple of days with that meat. So tomorrow I can probably make some tostadas with it. And then, you know, just some even brisket sandwiches. Add some like... um barbecue to it and make some brisket sandwiches so yeah we're gonna have enough food for the next couple of days with what i'm making so but yeah so we'll see you soon my hair up because then i'll be grabbing my hair all the time and then i'll forget it and i'm like oh, i don't know why i do that i have it i need to stop so anyways i'm gonna be my daughter's <clears throat> cheer team one of their coaches i'm really not gonna do cheers i'm just gonna take care of the parents I don't know why this is up here. I'm so sorry. And then, so it's been like kind of crazy. It's a lot of work. Um, heads off to all the coaches because it's not easy. Especially, you know, I'm sorry for my deodorant. I'm not going to wear this out. I am just have this on so I could cook and clean and stuff because I do still have to mop and stuff like that so it's been a little hectic and then my son is in soccer and then my daughter is in cheer for high school and then the other kid is in you know uh, uh college and then my husband hasn't been here because he's starting a new um business thank god so so proud of him but he hasn't been here so i've been a little bit sad but i'm feeling better i just feel a little like under the weather i am not taking fetamine yet <clears throat> i know i made a video on it um the reason i don't take it is because or i haven't started it again it's because i've been having a lot of panic attacks and when you have panic attacks your heart still you know gets all crazy so imagine with a fetamine that's what it does it's not the safest and i don't know i'm just like i can't do it right now so i'm trying to like eat better and lose weight on my own been doing my bike every single day except for you know the days that i was sick and i'm gonna start putting i did pilates here at home from the peloton they have a pilates section and it like really like hurt like my stomach still hurts from it so I'm being a coach is very interesting. I am talking to another coach and then the coordinator, which is like above us to tell us like the stuff from the district. She like tells us stuff like the very last minute and I'm not like perfect or anything, but I like to know things in advance because there's a lot of girls that joined our team. There's like 30 and I might not seem a lot to a lot of people but I've never coached before I was a cheerleader like 50 years ago so it's like very hard and I just needed to vent for a little bit but she's just like giving us updates like oh you know you're cheering for this team too and we're like you might have told us that before we already had a parent meeting and it's a lot but anyways I went to um Bath and Body Works yesterday and I bought me a candle I never know which candle to get. I usually get like the um, leaves around this time. And this one actually smelled really good. And I didn't have time to look for it. Raspberry and with vanilla. This one smells a lot. Or the cherry merlot. <clears throat> I usually get that one. But I wanted to do a little falling one. I only get one at a time because I don't know why. I should have got like two or three. Because my house isn't huge. But it's an open, you know, um floor plan so it needs more than one you know what i'm saying but we were thinking about getting that um excuse the way i'm making my fish um thing that it's like a humidifier for like hotels but not the hotel brand another brand that Aaliyah has <clears throat> but we haven't gotten around to it i need to read the reviews because it's pretty expensive they say you don't need to buy candles after that. I'm hoping, I like candles, but I could do without them if I could find something that replaces them. Um, but anyway, so I bought that. I did buy wallflowers yesterday because they were on sale. I bought the Cherry Merlot and then I bought a few autumn ones that smell so good. I cannot show you what they smell like because my daughter took out the little tag, but it really smells a lot. But the Cherry Merlot, if you don't have Cherry Merlot or the <clears throat> Teakwood, Mahogany, those are the ones that are going to make your whole house smell beautiful all, all the time until you're, 
wildflower finishes. So even though the other ones scents are amazing, those are like the scents that will really make your house smell. You know what I mean? And you don't have to be right up under it. So yes, so that's what I did yesterday. I do have to go to Ulta. I bought a uh, Too Faced makeup, which I love, but I think I got it too dark. So I want to go get matched and exchange the one that I have. And then today my son has a soccer game. I don't know if I said that already, so I'm just getting ready for that. But I just wanted to show you guys the candle that I got. It smells amazing. I just hope it smells like the whole it smells. I'm like, it doesn't seem like it's going to be strong enough, but let, let's pray. I don't want to take it back. I'll just keep it. Um, you know, I was in a rush. I'm like, on the way to pick up the kids, I had like a, literally 10 minutes because I like to get there early to be the first one, you know, not to be the first one, but to be there like, Sometimes they let them out early and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I said that wrong. But, yeah, so um, I had 10 minutes to get to the school, and I was like, Bath and Body Works was on the way. So I stopped, grabbed the candles, grabbed, like, 10 little wildflowers, and then went about my day. So, yeah, let's see how those work out. I just don't know what kind they are. They might be on the receipt. I'm not sure. I'll check right now. But they smell really good. I also got the Febreze, the wood and then I had I think it was like apple spice and it came with three different like ones for the holidays I bought that one so I could see which one I like more and they all smell amazing my house smells so good right now I do have an incense right now as well but the house smells amazing I just need to mop I already cleaned of course, I need to clean the kitchen again because the kitchen I have to clean like five times a day. But I already cleaned pretty much everything I washed because Sundays are my cleaning and wash days. And this day I was out of service because I was so sick. So, yes. Um, hoping my husband will come soon. I didn't take you guys with me. I wanted to start taking you guys with me around, but I was so sick. I was like, I didn't want to talk to anybody. I was just like in and out and like no makeup, just... I looked like I felt yesterday. But um, when my husband comes, I don't know if we're gonna go to him or he's gonna come to us, if either or I'm gonna vlog it, but if he comes to us, we're thinking about going to Ridoso and going to the Wahlburgers, I've never been. So I love going to Ridoso and just hanging out. So we might go over there, take you guys with us, you know, New Mexico. It's so much fun over there and right now it's like the perfect weather. So I'm excited to go over there. <clears throat> My kids have intercession, so what it is, is we are, we go to school for three months, and we're off two weeks, so we are about to be off, like, next, the week after next, for two weeks, so my kids have vacation again for two weeks, and I'm, I am excited about it, I like it better, it gives them, like, a brain rest, you know, so, yeah, so, um, yeah, they'll be off for two weeks soon. So I'm thinking of activities to do with them here at home so they don't get bored. Thank you, Jesus. We have a, a park right across the street. But other than that, we'll see. But, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'll show you guys my salmon. I'm back. This is my broken salmon. But it's going to be so good with the veggies from Costco's. And I'll be back. Hi. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. so easy and so cheap and so I just really wanted to come on here because this is what I'm gonna make for dinner well for me and my daughter because my kids really don't like this pasta because it has mushrooms and you know stuff like that the mushroom sauce and they don't really like it but we love it and I just wanted to show you what it looks like in case you're like you know I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like in this. One day you guys are like 
I don't know what to make and I don't have time and just to get out of the packet I mean the microwave and so what I'm gonna do is I put it exactly eight minutes everybody's microwave is different I feel so yeah I would just kind of test your microwave but mine is exactly eight minutes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it cool off get the let the juices get a little thicker and it smells amazing it's like a chicken alfredo but a little bit more mushrooms it's quick it's easy it's cheap and it's like a fast little meal that you could get and i'll show you what it looks like once i serve it because it starts getting a little bit thicker finish recording them because um i didn't realize one of my batteries wasn't working so when i went to go get my nails done it like died but then I had, I thought I had a fully charged battery, but it wasn't charged. So then I come home and I'm trying to charge it and the light's not turning green. So obviously that battery's no good. So I have to buy an extra battery so I could have, you know, so that's why I didn't charge my main battery. Cause I'm like, I have an extra one, you know, I'm not a big, huge YouTuber like that too, where a lot of people care, <laughs> but I was just like, you know, uh, I wanted to black the rest of my nails. I really like them. I think they're cute. My husband's not a fan, but it's like getting close to Halloween and they look kind of like clay well, in my eyes. I know they're long. I already know this. Every time like I post something, everybody's like, your nails are long. I'm like, I know I paid for them and I asked for them long. So I'm aware that my nails are long, but I like them long. You know what I mean? But I understand everybody has different preferences. So. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, next video, I'm going to show you guys my new extensions. Hopefully, I'll get my hair done soon. I was going to get it done on Friday, but I can't because my daughter won every month. They choose somebody that's an all-star in their school and in their classroom. And she got all-star, so I cannot miss that. So hopefully, I could get rescheduled before my girl goes, you know, has her baby but i gotta go to my daughter's um all-star ceremony at the exact same time so i'm trying to figure that out but i'll keep you updated and thank you guys so much for watching i know my head is cutting off but thank you we'll see you guys next time